This workout burns tons of calories. It's simple and requires no equipment, so you can do it right at home. If your goal is to burn belly fat, even though there's no way to target fat burn, this workout can definitely help speed up your progress. So as long as you're also following a sensible nutrition plan by eating clean, which my channel has plenty of videos to help you set up your diet plan right away, you'll be burning fat from all those problem areas like your belly, your love handles, and your whole body in general. You can simply do this workout three times a week, eat right, and you'll see some quick fat loss. So let's get started with exercise number one, and I'll explain sets, reps, and timing intervals at the end. The first exercise is the inchworm combined with four mountain climbers. Start by hinging your hips back, bending down, and lowering your upper body towards the floor. Then place your hands flat on the ground. From there, you're gonna walk your hands forward until you're in a plank position. As you're doing this, keep your body in a straight line from your head to your hips to your heels. Then you'll perform four mountain climbers by alternating between driving your left and right knee towards your chest. Make sure you keep your core tight for stability and to prevent your hips from sagging. After completing the four mountain climbers, walk your hands back towards your feet, returning to the bent over position. Then stand back up to the starting position and go right back to your next inchworm. Next, we have Bulgarian split squats. And even if you're advanced, I'll show you how to make it more intense without any equipment. So first, you're gonna position either a chair or a couch directly behind you. Stand a few feet in front of whatever you're using as a platform and then reach back and either place the top of your foot or plant your toes on the platform, whatever's more comfortable for you. Keep your chest up and your shoulders back as you lower your body towards the ground by bending your front knee and dropping your back knee straight down. Keep going down until your front thigh is parallel to the ground. Then push through your front heel and extend your front knee to come back to the starting position. As you perform reps, make sure that your front foot is planted far enough forward so that when you lower your body, your front knee stays directly above your ankle. If your knee is going past your toes, you need to hop your front foot a little further in front of you. Now, if you're advanced, you can add a plyometric hop at the end of each rep where you'll explode upwards, jump off the ground, and land back down with your knee slightly bent. Then go right into your next rep. The following exercise is squat thrusts. Begin by squatting down and placing your hands on the ground around your feet. Then jump your feet back into a push-up position with your body in that same straight line. As soon as you do that, immediately jump your feet back in between your hands with your knees tucked into your chest and your hips directly above your feet. Then jump your feet right back out and repeat this motion for reps. If you're a beginner and you struggle to jump your feet in and out, you can simply walk them in and out for this exercise. After that, we're gonna move on to lateral lunges. Begin by standing with your feet hip width apart. Then take a step to the side with your right foot, keeping your left foot planted in the ground. As you step to the side, make sure that your toes stay pointed forward. Do not turn your toes towards the direction that you're lunging in. From there, shift your body weight to your right hip as you bend your right knee, lowering your body towards the ground while your left leg stays straight. As you lower down, you wanna also sit your hips back almost like you're performing a single leg squat. Do not simply bend your knee forward without also bringing your hips backwards. Then push off your right foot and return to the center starting position. Repeat on the other side. Next, we're doing Spider-Man push-ups. If you can't do them, you're just gonna do regular push-ups. And if you can't do those, then you'll do push-ups on your knees. To perform Spider-Man push-ups, start in a standard push-up position with hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. As you lower your body towards the ground, lift your right foot up and bring your right knee towards your right elbow. Maintain control throughout the movement by making sure that you're keeping your core tight. Then push back up to the starting position and at the same time, bring your right foot back down to the ground. Switch sides on each rep. So for the next one, you'll be bringing your left knee towards your left elbow. As you perform reps, make sure you're not allowing your hips to sag and focus on keeping your body in a relatively straight line. If you're doing regular push-ups instead, just keep your feet planted and remember for all of these push-up variations, you wanna keep your elbows about 45 degrees away from your body. Don't flare them out too wide. Now, if you're a beginner, you can just do knee push-ups. Just remember to still focus on keeping your body in a straight line from your knees to the back of your head. Your hips should not be in the air. Moving to your next exercise, you're gonna be doing squat jumps. And if your knees bother you, you'll just be doing pull squats. For squat jumps, start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart, then perform a regular squat. So lower your body down by bending your knees and pushing your hips back. As you're doing this, keep your chest up and your back straight. Keep squatting down until your thighs are parallel to the ground. Then push through your feet and explosively straighten your knees. 
At the top, explode upwards, jump off the ground, and swing your arms down for momentum. Do your best to jump as high off the ground as you can. If you're advanced, you can even add a tuck jump by bringing your knees up to your chest in midair before landing back down. Otherwise, keep your knees straight. Then land back on the ground softly by bending your knees and lowering your body right into your next squat. Do not land with your knees locked out as this will place a lot of tension on your joints rather than your muscles. Squat jumps and especially tuck jumps are a great way to improve lower body strength, power, and explosiveness with no equipment. But if you have difficulty with your knees, you'll be doing pull squats. So squat down the same way, but at the bottom of the movement, you're gonna perform three pulses by performing short partial movements up and down while maintaining tension in your legs. Then stand all the way back up and repeat for reps. After this, you're gonna move on to bicycle sit-ups. For bicycle sit-ups, begin by lying on your back with your hands placed behind your head and your legs lifted off the ground. Start by turning your torso, lifting one shoulder blade off the ground while bringing your right elbow towards your left knee and at the same time straightening your right leg. Then switch sides by bringing your left elbow towards your right knee while straightening your left leg. Keep repeating this pedaling motion and be mindful to not pull on your neck. Your hand should simply be behind your head or at the sides of your head. Now, if you're advanced, you can try Navy SEAL sit-ups, which are harder and even more effective. You'll start by lying flat on your back with your legs straight and feet together slightly above the ground. Next, you'll sit up, bringing your upper body much higher off the ground as you bring one elbow to the opposite knee. It's almost like you're doing a V sit-up, except you're twisting to one side at a time. Then return to the starting position with your feet slightly above the ground before switching sides and bringing your other elbow to your other knee. Next, we're gonna do burpees, which is one of the best full body, high intensity exercises to increase breathing rate, heart rate, and of course, burn a bunch of calories. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart, then perform a squat. So you're gonna be lowering your body by bending your knees and placing your hands on the floor in front of you. After that, you'll jump your feet back to get into a plank position. Once again, maintaining a straight line from your head to your heels. From there, do a push up by lowering your chest towards the ground and then as you press back up, explosively jump your feet back in, in between your hands. If you're a beginner and you struggle with jumping your feet back in and out, you can do the same thing we did for the squat thrust by walking them in and out. Either way, finish off the burpee by jumping up, reaching towards the ceiling, and landing softly with your knees bent. If you're advanced, you can perform a plyometric push-up at the bottom. So after you jump your feet out and lower yourself down for a push-up, explode back up to propel your upper body upwards as you bring your feet back in and land with no hands on the ground. Then finish the exercise with the same jump up with the hands above your head. Remember, if you struggle with upper body strength and can't perform regular push-ups, you can just drop to your knees each time you lower yourself down, perform the push-up on your knees, then get back up into the plank position and complete the rest of your rep. Transitioning to the next exercise, we're still keeping the heart rate elevated with high knees. Begin by standing with your feet hip width apart, then lift your right knee towards your chest at least to waist level while simultaneously driving your left arm down. From there, you wanna quickly switch to the other side by bringing your right foot back to the ground and then immediately bring your left knee towards your chest while extending your right arm down. Continue this alternating marching in place motion, lifting your knees as high as comfortably possible. Don't make the mistake of slouching forward as you do this exercise. Instead, maintain an upright posture by keeping your chest and your sternum pointed forward. And do your best to do this as fast as possible so that you can keep your heart rate elevated. Next, we have the plank up-down, where you'll start by getting down into a push-up position, then lift one hand off the floor, bend your arm, and lower yourself down onto that forearm. From there, repeat the same process on the other side so that you're now down on both elbows in a plank position. Then switch sides by extending the elbow that you originally lowered to the ground, pressing yourself up and planting your hand in place of your forearm. Then repeat the same thing on the other side, going back and forth for reps. So the rhythm for this one is gonna be right, left, right, then left, right, left, repeat. So those are the 10 exercises you'll be performing and this is gonna be a high intensity interval training routine. So you'll be timing each exercise. I recommend you go and download the interval timer app, which I'll link in the description or comment section below. It's free and it's the same one I use at my gym. So you're gonna do each exercise for three sets of 60 seconds on and 30 seconds off for each set. Then you're gonna take a minute break after the three sets and move on to the next exercise until you're done with all 10. If you're a beginner, you can start with just two sets or even one set for each exercise and work your way up to three. 
You can see exactly how to set up the intervals within the timer app in the screen recording that you see right now. And you can also take a screenshot of the exercises that you'll be performing. You'll see that on your screen right now as well. So that about wraps it up. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to my channel. The sooner you start doing these exercises at home, the sooner you'll start seeing results. Of course, like I said in the beginning, if you're not eating right, there's no amount of exercise you can do to outwork a bad diet. So if you'd like some help in that department, you can check out my many videos that'll help you set up a diet plan based on your preferences. Or if you wanna save some time and you want a done for you solution, try my free six week shred. You'll get a personalized meal plan, a recipe book, a 42 day workout plan with a full guided video exercise library. And you'll also have a coach to answer any questions and help motivate you throughout the six weeks. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description, or you can head straight on over to my website at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.